Okay, so aside from trying to look cool, uh, which most DJs try to do, you know, the telltale symbol of a DJ is to have the headphones on. You know, you always see DJs doing, do one of these and holding it, and or even one of these, and everybody's like, oh, that's a DJ, look at him go, and even I'm guilty of doing that, you know. I, I hold the headphones like this, I make it clear that I'm a DJ by how I hold my headphones and stuff. But um, these headphones serve a really important purpose, like I explained before, and that is to hear the song that's playing next, that you want to play next. Not only to hear the song, but also to find the song on, on your CD, because you have multiple songs there. So you'll have a song playing out loud like this. So that's going away, right? And you're like, oh, I really like this other song, and I want to play that next, so you want to be able to hear it in your headphones, so then this is what you'll hear. So you can see we have two songs playing together. One was playing on the outside, out loud, and the next one's playing right here. So why do we do this? Why do we really need to do this aside from finding the song? Well, uh, the main reason is because we need to match the speeds of between the two songs. Uh, so two songs that are not matched properly sound terrible. I'll give you some examples of that later on. Um, the whole idea is that you can't play two songs together unless they're going the same speed. So to do that, we need to uh, first get, the play, get, get one of the songs playing out loud. So we'll do that right here. So that one's playing. And then the idea is you want to be able to get a song going the same speed. Well, how do we do that? It's really simple. There's one trick to it. You find the first beat of the song. So when you start a song, it's going to be the first beat. You hear it? So the idea is that we want to find that first beat. There it is, that's the first beat of all. So when you see DJs doing this, all this stuff, again, they're doing it to look cool because usually they don't have to do this, you know, they, they could just use the, the Q button, the play button. Um, but uh, they do it to find that first beat and to, to see and feel where it is. So this is the first thing you're going to have to learn how to do, is to figure out where that first beat is. So to do that, it's really easy. You start the song, right? You go, oh, okay, I missed it. So you, so you can, you can start the song again, play it again, and stop it after you hear the first beat. So there might be some silence, there might be 10 seconds of nothing like this, and then all of a sudden, and then so you stop it, right? Just put your hand on the record, put your hand on the CD player, it's okay right now. Later on, I'll tell you not to, but for now it's okay. So you do that. So you stop it. What you do is you wind it back to where that beat is. So you play it, you stop it, and then you wind it back to, to where there's silence. And you say, okay, so I'm back in silence. I'm, I'm back behind that first beat. Where, where is that first beat now? So you wind it forward until you hear it again. The first sound. There it is. So can you hear that? Yeah. That's it. So I found the first beat. There you go. And now you can feel it. I can feel where that beat is, literally with my fingers. I can feel where it is. Now you can do this motion with your hand. Um, However you want, you can do it on this side, you know, you can do it on this side, you can do it, do it over here. But the whole point is that you, you need to be able to stop it and wind it back to that first beat and feel where it is. And then when you find where it is, then you, throw, then you end up throwing it in. That, that's, what, that's, that's what we're going to cover next. If you like this video, click the link below this video window right now to see more awesome DJ training videos.